So this last video is going to be aimed at creating a uh, climate model uh, with, with all these uh, radiation equations that we've been developing um, and, and these concepts. So uh, just to go over a few things, using the Stefan-Boltzmann law, uh, you can use it in a couple of different ways. You can calculate how much is going to be emitted by a body, what it will radiate. And you can also calculate how much it's going to absorb. Um, so, typically, whenever we're doing a radiative balance, we're considering how much a body that, that we're, we're measuring here, uh, it will be the Earth in our case, but for now, uh, just any, any object, okay? Um, if it has emissivity, all right, and it's at a certain temperature, okay, uh, it will radiate power based on the Stefan-Boltzmann law given right here. But it will also be absorbing power based on what its surroundings are. And its surroundings, all right, are going to be radiating based on whatever temperature they're at. And the object will be absorbing, okay, uh, based on whatever its emissivity is. Because remember, the emissivity correlates to both what can be absorbed and what can be radiated by that object. So we actually combine this. And what we find is a net power, okay, that is either being lost or absorbed. Uh, as being the P out to, uh, minus the P in, okay? Um, so what we see here, okay, uh, is that um, the equilibrium, okay, uh, condition is that, you know, the net power being lost is equal to zero, all right? Uh, here we have, you know, an object that's emitting as much as it is absorbing. Um, so before we get into this model anymore, we, we need to define something here called albedo, all right? Um, and albedo, okay, is connected to emissivity, it's just a different coefficient, uh, and instead of telling us how much is absorbed, it gives us the ratio, okay, of what is reflected, okay, so what we're looking at here is the total amount, uh, it's the ratio between the total amount that's coming in, all right, and the amount that's reflected, all right, so we look at things, okay, snow, we say that snow has a very high albedo, whereas charcoal does not, it's very low albedo. Um, the Earth average um, has an average has an albedo of uh, thirty percent. Okay, um, so factors that will affect albedo include clouds. Okay, um, and, and you know whatever's on the landscape. You know ice, uh, desert, forests, water. So it's a big deal. You know people talking about uh, talk about you know um, the summer ice uh, in the Arctic Ocean uh, and and, and uh, you know the Antarctic ice shelf falling into the ocean. These are big. Um, you know, ticket items in terms of albedo, and, and in general, you know, just snow all around the world uh, as far as reflecting radiation back into the atmosphere instead of absorbing it. And that's a big deal because when you reflect it, you reflect it out as visible light and it's more, it passes through the atmosphere more easily. When you absorb it, what ends up happening is that it gets re-emitted eventually, typically at the temperature of what the Earth is at, and that is going to be at uh, long wave infrared radiation. And that long wave infrared radiation is much more easily absorbed by the atmosphere, all right? And that is, you know, one of the mechanisms by which global warming works, uh, and actually the greenhouse effect in general. Um, but, you know, we'll talk about that a little bit later, all right? So right now we're just worried about albedo and it, uh, how it relates to reflection, okay? So um, mostly uh, visible and shortwave infrared radiation is what ends up coming in, okay? Uh, so 30% of it, all right, we say is immediately reflected. That's the albedo. That's, that's um, you know, that, that's what we're saying is at the surface there, okay? And, and only 51% of the overall radiation that, we, that comes in uh, actually ends up reaching the surface. And to look at this balance here, okay, we have this uh, diagram um, which shows you how that 51% is what actually ends up being absorbed. Um, that 31% that that's immediately reflected it shows you there with the surface clouds and backscattering, which is just reflection from the atmosphere itself, okay, uh, you get around that 30%. Um, and then the rest of it, you know, uh, is absorbed in the atmosphere, and then the surface only absorbs 51%, okay? Um, so after that, after that's been absorbed, right, what we end up have, having here is this uh, radiation, all right, emitted. Uh, you have the long wave infrared radiation based on the temperature of the Earth. Latent heat flux, what that means, that's basically the heat um, that's coming up with uh, uh, water and evaporation, okay? Um, and uh, sensible heat flux, um, this, uh, I'm not sure what this is actually. Uh, let me look it up here. I'll tell you in a second. I forget. Okay, so the sensible heat flux after I looked it up is uh, what we're going to call the conductive heat transfer. You can think of it pretty much just as a convection currents, really. 
uh, that, you know, taking heat from the surface of the Earth. All right? So, and convection currents are wind, by the way. So, all right. What we say here, we're going to look at, all right, um, the uh, energy balance here of, of the Earth. Okay? So, we, we know that the Earth has a constant average temperature, and we're going to assume that it behaves approximately like a black body. Okay? Um, even though we, we do have albedo, all right, we're just going to take it, we're going to model it as a black body, all right, in a simple model here. So the, what we say is the net power, since it's at a constant average temperature, the net power uh, being lost is zero. And accounting for albedo, all right, we can calculate the net power using the solar constant, all right, as one minus the albedo, so that's telling us what is, ends up being absorbed, <coughs> excuse me, times the surface area, excuse me, times the solar constant times the surface area, all right. What's being emitted this is what's coming in, okay? So that's why we care about albedo, what's being reflected there. The rest of it, we'll say, is perfectly absorbed, all right? What's being uh, emitted, all right, is determined by the stefan boltzmann law, okay? Um, and yeah, so again, here's some more information regarding all of that, all right? Um, so we know 30% is reflected from the Earth, 70% of the rest of it that's, you know, not reflected, not in that albedo, is absorbed by the atmosphere and the surface, all right? Um, so if, if we're going to assume the Earth to be a black body, okay, let's estimate its equilibrium temperature. So what we said just before there is that the input power, the incoming radiative flux, all right, that's being absorbed is going to look like this, okay. The outgoing flux, all right, um, will depend on the emissivity. I know that we said that it's going to behave like a black body here. Um, but that, uh, actually, excuse me, that was incorrect. Okay, so actually, no, let's cross that out. Wait, no, no, we do have to assume that. Excuse me. So, let's see here. All right, I was able to pause it there. I figured it out. Yes, we are going to treat it like a black body, but we're going to include the emissivity in here so that we have a generalized relationship for it. Okay, so I do apologize for that. Yes, it is black body. Check. Woo. Okay. Um, all right, so like I said, the uh, total power being lost is equal to zero. So P net zero, and this may be equal to P out minus P in. So we have here that the incoming power is equal to the outgoing power. So it's in equilibrium. All right, we're going to substitute both of our equations in here. So we end up with this one minus the albedo times the solar constant times the area is equal to the emissivity times the Stefan-Boltzmann constant times the area times the temperature of the fourth power. Areas will cancel out nicely. And when we solve for the temperature, it's just going to be equal to the fourth root of one minus alpha times the solar constant divided by the emissivity times the Stefan-Boltzmann constant. All right. So when we substitute all these values in here, again, emissivity equal to 1, albedo equal to 0.3, and solar constant equal to 340 watts per meter squared, and we're going to take the uh, Stefan Boltzmann constant put it in there too. We get about 254 Kelvin. Now, this is what the uh, surface temperature of the Earth, the equilibrium temperature of the Earth should be. We know that's not the case, okay? So why isn't the surface of the Earth, you know, at this temperature? Well, what have we not included in this model? We have not included the atmosphere, okay? So uh, what we will do in the next class is we will talk about this in terms of the atmosphere, we'll do some practice with that, and then talk about climate change a little bit then. All right, so for now, this should be good for the notes, and I'll see you next class.